It all hit me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish. Fear. Longing. I could instantly tell there was more to that clock than met the eye. Ah. Locked. Grand opening, I assume. Hey, is that the first secretary? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, figures. There's gotta be a way to power it up. What the hell happened here? My senses jolted as I touched the phone. I could tell it had been used recently. To call me. Burn marks? Broken glass and... Is that salt? Someone jotted this down recently. Still works. Someone's been using it. Too small to fit a door. Hmm. As I moved the clock hand, I realized it was a junction between realities. It's rare, but I'd seen it before. No. Don't do it. I can't. We must. Wait. I can feel... something's wrong. It's coming. There! Looks like a passage. Shit. Thought I had it this time. It's taking too long. What am I missing? <sighs> Looks like I'm in for another dive. Oh, gotta check the wire. I'd hate to get stuck in there. Someone tried real hard to keep this place a secret. Wonder what's in here on the other side. Let's see if it worked. Okay. Let's get the rest of me in there. Never get used to this. Nope. Doesn't work. <sighs> Hope he's not using it as a textbook. I could sense something stirring behind that symbol, like a gust of wind moving a curtain.
suppressing, huh? Not... Ugh. I hate to think what kind of photos need this much secrecy. Okay, I know how this works. I need three liquids to develop the photo. That's one. Two more to go. This should come in handy. Okay, that's all of them. Looks like there's a train missing. Who's there? Hello? Are you all right? Don't. Don't. Look at me! Uh, 
Not a fan of light, huh? Fucking figures. Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing, it was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This ravenous. 
I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers, and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? Marianne! Wake up, please! Marianne! <gasps> I woke up with icy water in my veins. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. But I knew I couldn't. It wouldn't have solved anything. And besides, sadness needed my help. Is someone there? Mary and Happy. You're okay. Sadness? Is that you? Are you okay? What was that thing? Hello? Find Richard. Richard? No, Sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Day room? Are you trying to show me the way? What now? First Thomas, then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. At least Sadness was still with me, in a way. Is that? Oh god, it's everywhere. How many people died here?
Let me be frank. This case is problematic. My superiors want it to go away. I want it to go away. You can see how your statement complicates that? Comrade? I... Yes, I understand. Some things don't just go away. They stick. They echo. The nurse. She did it. She killed them all. It was like something possessed her. Is that really what you want us to put on record? It's what I saw. The nurse? But... How? Why? Cover your nose. Try not to look at him. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ugh. Definitely didn't need to feel that. Locked. Hey, Marianne. You look like shit. Are those bolt cutters? Might be useful. If only I could reach them. Whoa! Sadness? How did you... Ah, shit! Anyone? It's fine. I, 
I'm sure they're here somewhere. No, Bernard wouldn't do that. He's nice. Oh, she's talking to herself again. What a freak. Hey, don't talk about her like that. Shut up, Bernard. In here. This isn't funny. I really don't think we should. Shut the heck up, Bernard. Guys! Oh, kids can be such assholes sometimes. Show me something? What the hell? Snowdrop, huh? Why does that sound familiar? Closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. I can feel it calling out to me. It was the first time that had ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Uh, what? What the hell is this place? Somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. All these people, they weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart, broken beyond repair. Maybe I can find the one Bernard's missing. I need to look around. A spirit well. I could use some of that energy.
burn, you little fucks. This was yours, wasn't it, Bernard? It's about time you got it back. Bernard. Thank you. Huh. It kind of looks like the one I used to get through the mirror. Feels like it, too. was no escaping it. There's those bolt cutters again. Gotta be a way to reach them. Great. Another mirror. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you. Comrade. Locked. Oh! 
But what are you? Stop! Ah! Ah! This is it. This is where he. Okay. I still need his name. If only I could see the other side of this place. Some sort of a conference room. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. You know what they say, if you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice... That's the guy. An attendance list. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. Not in this world. There we go.
I'm getting close. That woman was here. Oh. She was a ballerina? This room has Guy written all over it. In big sloppy letters. Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Okay, last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. That name, it's everywhere. But that wasn't the real you. Yeah, this wasn't her room. I'm guessing her manager's? There. That's her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Huh. A page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Victoria. That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Hello? Yes, this is... Vivian. Room 347? I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. He... What? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. This is where it happened. Uh, of all the places. What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, 
no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. And still no name. There's gotta be something. You called the other one Ellie when you were talking on the phone, so... Tori! It's you! The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. I'm not gonna lie, it felt good, putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. That voice. Boris. That's the guy he was talking about. Seat number nine.
Okay. So this is Boris's seat. So the one I'm looking for is... This is it. The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. That's it. Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you out of here. here. 